making an image. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My mother is ashamed to be seen out of me, hence I have to wear these. To start with. <laughs> I just feel empty and right. What I have is an image and a few shitty videos on YouTube, you know, and <laughs> I just don't need to have control over something in my life. <laughs> I'm going fucking crazy, and I have <laughs> crap life, and like. Even some more stuff, just like being at home makes me really scared and I feel unwanted and like everything's unpredictable and like my appearance is one of the only things that um I seem to be able to get any control over and uh, You know, by wearing these, you know, it might make my mum happy, but it doesn't, it makes me unhappy inside, and I know I should care what people think, so I just don't, you know, I just, desperate to be accepted for me, and at the same time, I know, that you can put me in a crowded room of two fucking hundred, and I'll still feel alone, because, I've always felt, I've always felt like, oh my god, my eyes are fucking fallen idiots now. I've always felt different to everyone else, kind of like, around me, and I just, I don't know, I feel so scared all the time because I just, everything I do seems to be wrong, and not good enough for her and she just scares me just to be at home because I'm trapped in and I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed out on my own I'm trapped in I'm so sick of it I really I, I'm scared of my own thoughts because at the end of the day I just don't want to end it and I don't know everyone on YouTube will think this is some fucking fake attention seeking crying fit. Well, maybe I'm an attention seeker, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I just want to be loved and I want to have friends, and I know I try too hard. And I don't know it takes too much effort just to please myself, but. Oh, Jesus Christ. He <sighs> take my tears away. My eyes are look awful. <laughs> I'm terrified of eating anything other than my set menu. <laughs> but that's something you didn't know about me. Yeah, I tried to keep that under wraps, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I do have an eating disorder. And <laughs> no, it doesn't look it. <laughs> and it's impossible to post a vlog like this without sounding like an attention seeking fucker. <laughs> it's just how I feel, and I'm not faking this, okay? I get like this about once, I'd say every few weeks, and. <laughs> By this evening, I should have recovered. And they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, in this case, I would have come out, you know, like a fucking iron rod. 
and I'm sorry if you can't understand a word I'm saying. But, you know, I just... I need control in my life, otherwise I go over the top and I self-harm, and... I need control. All the time I need control, so I can be sure that, that I'm me, and... I basically I'm being made to wear these out. So that um, no one sees my makeup because apparently it's too much today. Yeah, you're probably laughing now, thinking, oh, what clown face, what fucking mess of a person, what an attention seeker. Well, fuck you because you don't know me. And, you know, I don't know you and I'm glad I don't. And, you know, I try all my life, I try I, so hard not to judge anyone. And I don't judge anyone. I don't judge anyone by how they dress. Although my friends were AIDS, and I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> my friends were HIV and he's dying, as you may have guessed from my song Belinsky, which is about him. Um, he's got AIDS, and um, I don't really feel like I want to talk about this on here, but basically I don't judge anyone, and, um, you know, my life's not too great at the moment. Yes, um, so one of my best friends has been diagnosed with, um, HIV AIDS, um, we're not sure at the moment, um, how much longer he'll be around, and he's 22 years old, he's 22 years old and he's dying of AIDS, and <laughs> people say there's awful things about people with AIDS, but he's not promiscuous, and He's not a monster, and he's not dirty, or a disease, or unclean, or any of this shit. Oh, God, I'm so sorry for this pose. They don't get the most views as well. But, you know, I just get so scared. So fucking paranoid. I'm just frightened that I will go over the edge. I'm frightened that, because, you know, I don't have much self-control, and... I just... Little things just hit me over the edge sometimes, and this is one of them, and you just witness an Anthony Wobbly, you know? If you want to happy slap this around your phone, go ahead. Oh, no, I don't give a fuck anyway. And... You know, at the moment I just want to die because, you know, I, I spend an hour a day putting this shit on my face, yeah? And I like the result. A lot of the time I like the result, I like the way it looks, okay? And I feel like I liked the way it looked today. And I was fine. And then my mum put the fucking foot in it, and... Oh, it just drives me mad. And, <laughs> and look, Michael dying. HIV, and then I've got this shit happening, and school's just a bunch of shit, and I just, it feels like everyone hates me, and it feels like I'm to blame for everything, and it sounds so fucking teenage, and narcissist, and oh, oh. everything I hate, and I still fucking cry over it, and you know, I'm determined to be a strong person, because I know I'm fucking strong. And you know, if I want fucking strong, when you get up in the morning, you know what I mean? And oh, I just give up. So, oh, please just leave a comment if you want to encourage me or discourage me or whatever.